Hey guys, and welcome back to Ranking Starter Pokemon, and here we go through my top 13 of the starters, so let's get into it with number 13, which is the Fire Starter from the Kalos region, Finnegan. Now, Finnegan's very cute, it is easy to train, it has an amazing design, and I actually really like this Pokemon because instead of being fire and fighting like most other Fire Starters turn out to be, it actually turns out to be fire and psychic. And it's just a cute little fox Pokemon, and I believe it was the first starter I chose when I first played Pokemon X when it came out. Coming in at number 12 is Litten, who is maybe one, of, one starter I was super excited for when it was leaked for uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's very cute, it's very powerful. The final evolution is Fire and Dark, which is amazing. I just, I really could have seen this. Pokemon's Final Evolution hat being quadruped instead of bipedal, but it became a bipedal wrestler, which is pretty cool, and I mean, it's a really good starter for the games. In the number 11 spot, we have Froakie, the starter everybody loved when Pokemon X and Y came out. Froakie is easy to train and is very powerful and fast when it evolves. It's crazy. He's very useful in the second gym. He's very useful going against the Fire Elite Four trainer. Although he does face some challenges in the grass gym, Froakie is just an amazing starter. And I mean, he's just a cute little frog. He's so adorable. To kick off the top 10, we have Piplup, the water penguin Pokemon. Piplup is very useful in the first gym, although there is a disadvantage in the grass gym. It's very powerful, easy to train, and its evolution is water and steel which is an interesting combination. And it can learn ice type moves, which can help you so much. I guess Dragon Pokemon, which I swear are like the hardest Pokemon to face in any game, especially in this one, considering the champion has a Garchomp, which is ground and a dragon. So Piplop, like 10 out of 10 for that, like to beat Cynthia. Like Piplop is the starter to go. In spot number nine, we have Cyndaquil, who is the fire starter for the Johto region. Cyndaquil is very powerful, very fast. There are no immediate weaknesses in the gyms, and Cyndaquil is very easy to train. When I first played Pokemon Soul Silver, Cyndaquil was the Pokemon I chose, and it was just so cute to watch little Cyndaquil like, follow behind me, and it was so adorable. And Typhlosion is an amazing final evolution. It's so cute. Number eight is Grookey. I just have to say hashtag Grookey gang right here. Grookey is my favorite Galar starter. Rillaboom is amazing. It is very, it's a very powerful Pokemon with some few disadvantages. I mean, the main disadvantage is probably Charizard being, you know, fly, fire and flying, which grass has, is completely weakness, but like Rillaboom is a tank and it's just so cute. I mean, I like the little stick in its hair, which is just the beating. It's just adorable. Number seven on our list is Ashawat, who was the first Pokemon I knew I wanted to play with when a uh, black and white first came out. Original starter I picked, of course. It doesn't really have any advantages in the beginning of the game, but I mean, definitely adorable, very strong. An amazing, amazing design. And honestly, my favorite water type for this series of games, like it's hard to find another good water type when playing black and white or black and white too. Number six is Chimchar, the fire monkey. Like I know I've said a lot about the fire and fighting, like final evolution type for fire Pokemon, but it actually works well for this one. It has really good attack stats, which make it, like, very powerful. Like, it gets the second typing very soon after evolving, and it evolves at a lower level. So it's very useful for the first two gems if you're able to evolve it. Because the fighting can take out the rock types, and the fire can take out the grass types. So I just love Jim Char. It's a cute little monkey anyway. Who doesn't love a cute little monkey? Kicking off the top five, we have Chikorita. I love Chikorita. It is, it is an adorable grass type Pokemon. It's probably the second starter I picked when I replayed Soul Silver. 
and it's just got an amazing design and I mean when it evolves it is very tanky I just I love Chikorita both in the games and in the anime it's so cute number four on the list is Squirtle okay Squirtle Squad it could be very useful with the very first gem being a rock type the final evolution has high defense and it learns more type specific moves faster than the other two and I mean, it just looks so cute. It was so adorable in the anime and so powerful. Like, Blastoise is literally a tank. Coming in at number three is Charmander, which I swear is the Pokemon everyone loves other than Pikachu. And I think even the game developers love Charmander, considering in Sword and Shield, it's the only Kanto starter, like, immediately in the game. Um... It's definitely my favorite of the original starter Pokemon. It has a difficult time in the first two gems because it's weak to both of them. But it eventually has a dual type of being fire and flying even though it looks like a dragon. It was given two mega evolutions and its final evolution has the highest attack of the first three starter Pokemon. Like Charmander is just a cute little dragon and we love him. Number two is... Eevee, which is all around my favorite Pokemon, and the main reason I have it at number two is because there is one other starter that I think is kind of a better starter Pokemon, and really a lot of people wouldn't consider Eevee a starter, but it is the starter you get in Let's Go Eevee. Eevee is such an adorable Pokemon, and it provides eight different evolutions that you can choose from. It's able to learn many different moves, and in Let's Go Eevee, it can learn special moves that correspond to each of the types it can evolve into. Like, you can literally have a team of six Eevees, and each of them can evolve into a different typing, which is so advantageous. And finally, the number one starter, in my opinion, is Trico. I love Trico. Trico is my favorite starter, mainly because of its evolution, Grovile. When I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, for those of you who have played it and haven't, Grovile is a time traveler who's partnered with a human, and I kind of grew close to the character while playing the game. It's very advantageous for the beginning of Ruby and Sapphire and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, in which Trico can, is chosen to be the starter. And I mean, it's Mega Evolution. It becomes a dragon type. Like, what in the world? And I mean, when I watch the anime Ashes Trico evolved into a Grovile that was so sassy and I just loved it. So Trico is my number one starter. <laughs> <laughs>